Welcome to the data management tutorial of the Marine Biodiversity Observation Network Pole to Pole of the Americas. This tutorial will show you step-by-step -step instructions to transform original data tables from biodiversity surveys in the rocky intertidal or sandy beaches to Darwin Core archive files using data templates and R scripts developed by the MBON Pole to Pole program. These resources are available on the network's website. After watching this video, you will be able to produce the Darwin Core archive files, upload them to the Embone Multiple Integrated Publishing Toolkit, or IPT, and publish your data in the Ocean Biodiversity Information System. You will need to install R software and R Studio on your computer, which are available for download on the links shown here. To get started, you will need to download our script and test out the table available of the MBOM Pole to Pole site. You can access these resources in the Data Science section under the Methods tab. Click on the Darwin Core Archive Writer link, and you will land on this document containing the R script to transform your data tables with step by step instructions for running the code. Click on the link to access the R Markdown version of this document and run the code on R Studio. On this GitHub page, click the Raw button. Select and copy all the script. Create an R Markdown file on your R Studio app. Paste the code here and save it with the word index in your directory. You can test the script with an Excel test dataset available on this link. Download the test Excel sheet from the GitHub repo to the data folder where your index R markdown file is stored. These three folders must be created on the directory where your R markdown is stored with the exact same names. These folders will be called in the script to access the data table and save the outputs. Remember, the test Excel table must be stored in the data folder. When you're ready to process your own data sets, your original data tables should be stored here. Now simply click on the play buttons on the chunks of code highlighted in the gray boxes on your index R markdown file. Code chunks must be run sequentially. When running each code chunk, you will see a green bar indicating that the script ran successfully. The bar will turn red if there is an issue, but this should not happen with this test run as long as you don't modify the script. After running the last code chunk, you will see the three Darwin Core archive files in your IPT folder. And two additional files for data analysis in your analysis folder. So another way to run the code in the Darwin Core Archive Writer is by copying the script directly from the manual and pasting it on the console in our studio. You have now generated the Darwin Core Archive files from your surveys. And so you're now ready to publish your data in OBIS. The next step is to upload these three files to the MBON Poltopole IPT. Step-by-step -step instructions for uploading these files to the network's IPT are also available on our website. Once published, the data will become visible on the IPT of the MBON Poltopole program and on OBIS. You can now subscribe to the MBOM Poll to Poll channel to receive notifications when new tutorials become available and send us feedback and questions about this tool. You can also contact us by email. Thank you very much for your attention.